Code. Hey, welcome to week 10 of the Dude Ranch podcast, podcast Pigskin Pickums. Um, give you a little update from last week. We all went three and two, so that's pretty easy. But the more important thing, we all went four and oh, and on the sperm bank locks of the week, and we were two and two on upset picks. Of course, two, two of those wins was the Notre Dame over Clemson win. So <laughs> that brings the year to date totals up to Drew's in the lead. 26, 19, 26 and 19. Me and Waz are both 21 and 24, and Brady's right there at 20 and 25. And everyone's got a winning record in the sperm bank. Brady's seven and two. Me and Drew six and three. And Waz is five and four. He's won his last two sperm banks to get up. Huh. So uh, we'll just get right into it. Uh, Drew, give me three picks. All right. So if you got, I don't have a watch on, but it's two and zero. Oh. Down in Miami, it's two a time, baby. I told you guys he's going to be a stud. He's two and zero. I'm taking the Dolphins at home minus two and a half against Herbert, the Herbert and the Chargers. <clears throat> the Dolphins are playing some real good football with Tua. He's not like lighting out the numbers, but he's getting the job done. And I like the Dolphins minus two and a half here. All right, my next pick. I uh, won with him last week. I'm going to roll with him again. School, school. School Vikings minus two and a half at Chicago on Monday night. Uh, Dalvin Cook's lighting it up. They're feeding them what they should have been doing all year. Just fucking feeding Dalvin Cook. And the Bears got spanked. They got skunked by fucking Tennessee last week. They're not that good. And my last pick, I'm going to the well one more time. They didn't cover for me last week. But the Sharks, baby, they stayed undefeated. And this week they play at four and three, Troy, giving nine and a half points. All they got to do is win by ten. I like Coastal Carolina uh, to cover that game. The Sharks, baby. Who they, who they playing? Troy. Troy. Oh, I don't know, man. Achilles. He, I heard he's back from that Achilles injury. So. Oh. That was a little Troy joke. You've probably never seen the movie, I guess. Oh, uh, no. I thought you were talking about He has not seen that movie. No. I no. Not. I you were <laughs> Apparently, he's never heard of the story of Achilles either. So. <laughs> he thought you were telling them an actual player. He was like, I no. Think- no, Achilles ain't going to make a big difference this week. Nope. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. All right, Waz, give me three picks. All right. Uh, Minnesota <laughs> looks fucking terrible. Some have to get the other way. I'm betting on Iowa here, minus three and a half. I like Iowa in this matchup a lot, even though it may be a battle of the shit stains. <laughs> I'm taking the less shitty team, and we're going to go to the well. <laughs> I was going to fuck them, baby, because fuck Minnesota. Minnesota, okay. Minus three and a half. <laughs> Hammer it down on Minnesota. And then uh, Brady ain't going to like this too much, baby. But I'm telling you what, uh, San Diego State minus ten and a half against his good friends, the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. Hawaii – Sorry, Brady. They look like the shittiest team in their fucking conference this year. It looked awful. I was embarrassed to bet on them last week. Uh, I got to bet against them this week for that simple fact. And San Diego State, once again, looks like a powerhouse high Division II team. <laughs> so you're uh, saying they're like the Patriots of the Mountain West. <laughs> San Diego State looks great, so I'm I'm taking them for sure. Um, and then, uh, God damn it, I didn't want to do it because it's gonna flaunt fucking Drew's ego a little bit. But I'm taking the Cardinals oh. minus two and a half against the Buffalo Bills. Oof. It's a risky one. Let's start, Daniel. I see three losses there. I like Iowa. I like. I, I think Iowa's a decent football team. They might be the, other than Ohio State. I think they're the next tier down. They lost a tough one at the opening week against Perdon. They should have won. Mm-hmm. Oh, Brady, Perdon. Uh, first pick. I'm going tonight with the Toledo Rockets <laughs> plus two and a half. They're playing Western Michigan. Uh, it's probably be the last time all year you get Toledo plus money, except for when they play Buffalo. I'm jumping big on that. Um, then I'm going to go with the Tennessee Titans, minus two, Thursday night. 
Uh, to quote Daniel, Philip Rivers sucks dick. Nobody mm. likes Philip Rivers. He sucks. <laughs> and you know what? what? I'm sorry. I don't want. I don't want even lines. You want that two and a half or one and a half? Uh, you can make it two and a half. It's close. It'd probably would be two and a half before it goes to one and a half. Okay. Uh, and then the Steelers minus six and a half. Woo! The Steelers play. Bungles. All right, good picks. I don't know shit about Toledo. All right, I'm going to give my uh, here my three picks here. I'm going to go uh, Seahawks plus one and a half versus the Rams. I like them getting the points. They had that big ass loss against Buffalo. I think Russell Wilson Jr. third. I don't think they're going to lose two games. And I've been saying all year Rams are a little sus. Uh, uh, second pick. I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to ride with Drew here. Fins up against the fucking Chargers. Minus two and a half. You all know I love Herbert the Pervert. I don't think that that team's all that good. Um, and I'm going to make a bold prediction. I, I think the Dolphins have – they're going to make a run at winning that fucking division because I've been saying all year I think the Bills are a little suspect. I love fucking Flores. He's putting a lot of good young talent down there. He's got some good defensive players. I like the Dolphins in that one. And in my third pick, I'm going fear the fucking turtle, baby. Plus 25 and a half versus Ohio State. Uh, In no way do I think Maryland's going to win this football game. But they put up a lot of fucking yards and a lot of fucking points. And I think they're going to hang within the 25 and a half. I mean, I look for Ohio State to win by a couple touchdowns. But I think that I think Maryland scores enough that they're going to keep that within 25 and a half. You think baby you think baby tag of Iola keeps it a little baby tag of Iola. Uh, (laughs) There's all our three picks. Uh, Drew, give me an upset. All right, my upset of the week. I was in between two here, but I went to the pros and at the college, and I'm taking Drew Locke and the Denver Broncos Ooh. at LV. Drew Locke, has, he's impressed me, man. Like, he's playing good, and the Denver team is pretty solid. They got a nice little two running backs, Lindsey, Gordon. Uh, I don't know. I like Denver, Drew Locke, to beat LV. I, 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 love, I looked at that, too. I did kind of liked it. But I don't know Denver. Who they play last week? They hung. No, they hung with. Was that Atlanta? Yeah. Is that Atlanta? They played. They played. That was a close game. No, I, I like LV though. I think LV is pretty good. All right, Waz, give me an upset. All right. Uh, I was also looking at that upset, but I didn't want to be that guy because I felt like we was all gonna end up picking up. So I want to give you guys a fucking upset of the week, baby. Okay, and. Michigan State doesn't look bad this year. I'm going to go hammer down the Pat McAfee way. Hammer down on Michigan State against Indiana. It's fucking Indiana, okay? I don't care who they've beat. It's still fucking Indiana. The Big Ten's dog shit. You're good for a fucking upset every fucking week. That's, That's the Big true. Ten's poo. Yeah. But Michigan State, Michigan State got piss pounded by fucking Rutgers earlier. They did. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I like that. I like that quarterback for Indiana. Man, he he really he's he doesn't throw a great ball, but man, does he get around good? Uh, Brady, give me an upset. All right. Well, Saturday, Achilles is going to be outside of the Troy Trojan Stadium yelling for the Chanticleers instead of Hector, <laughs> like he did in the movie Troy, because Troy is going to fuck them up. And if you if you take the ten points. Put your fucking house on it. I didn't use, I didn't double down because I don't like doubling down, but mm-hmm. that would have been my sperm bank locker a week. But that was just, that'll be the easiest upset you have all year. Take the charge charges. I was also thinking about that as well. I think Drew needs he, to watch boy now. Drew, I think it's on Netflix, Drew. You need to watch it. It's a great movie. Brad Coastal Penn. Carolina, this is this is by far the hardest team they're going to play all year. And they're, they're, they're not going to handle them very well. And four and three Trojans are tough, baby. They're tough. Is that on Saturday? Yeah, and they've also played – they played BYU in one of them losses too, so don't forget about that. <laughs> I'm going to jump on that little action there. They don't no, play shit bags like Georgia Southern and Georgia State. They play real fucking – Keep sport. sleeping on the shots, baby. You I'm guys sleep on them. Was and Brady, do you agree that Drew needs to watch Troy ASAP? Yeah. And, immediately. Like, Immediately. Like, how have you ever seen that movie? Have you ever heard of the story of Achilles, how he led the Greek army in Detroit? The yeah, Trojan Greek gods. Yeah, the Trojan, the Trojan horse, yeah. I got in there. It's one of the best movies on, of all time, probably. 
Was it Brady though? I know Brady. I've said this to you. The scene where they take the beach at Troy. If you look closely in the sky, when when uh, when uh, Brad Pitt standing on that temple, you could see a fucking airplane in the sky. <laughs> the first time I seen that, I was like, I didn't know they had airplanes back then. <laughs> <laughs> look it up on the internet. They showed on the internet too. Great movie. All right, we'll move along. Uh, it's my pick. My 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 turn. My my turn. My upset pick of the week. It's three and a half, so this counts as an upset. I'm going to go money line. I'm going New York Blue over the fucking Eagles, baby. I was looking at that one. New York Blue got a little, with all the injuries, and they don't got a lot of talent. Them dogs got some fucking fight in them. Though. I'm going New York Blue because I really couldn't find nothing better. I looked at a couple other ones, but New York Blue over the fucking Eagles. <laughs> all right, sperm bank lock of the week time, Drew. What you got? All right, baby. Jerk it off. They were my sperm bank last week. They're my sperm bank this week. Sunday night football, Baltimore Ravens, minus six and a half against the Patriots. The Patriots are not a good football team. They struggled against old wacko flacko, baby. And Baltimore is going to come in there, and they're probably going to piss pound them. Uh, but, yeah, Ravens minus six and a half. Yeah. Uh, was? Um. Um, uh, I got fucking Jacksonville sucking ass this year. <laughs> Look at Drew's face. He thought I was going to say they're going to oh, win. Oh, okay. I was, I was uh, I'm, I'm so sick of fucking betting on Jacksonville in any way, shape, or form this year. So I'm finally going the other way. My sperm bank lock of the week. Green Bay minus 12 and a half. It's easy. It's probably the easiest money you're going to make all fucking year. Uh, Green Bay is has been piss-pounding shitty teams all year, and they're going to piss-pound Jacksonville also. They've been playing fucking terrible. Green Bay looking to get right back on the track here and just keep fucking their way through to fucking inferior opponents. <laughs> all right. I, I don't know. <laughs> Go up and down, even though I'm like five and two ATS with them this year. Uh, Brady, give me a sperm bank. Um, out of respect for Daniel son, I didn't make Baltimore my lock of the week. I, however, will be betting a substantial amount of money on Baltimore because no offense was, but the Patriots suck. But I went, uh, my sperm bank lock of the week is Seattle plus the one and a half over the Rams. Seattle always bounces back after a loss, really good. And you don't really need to cover anything. You just need them to win. So I think they're going to easily do that. Love that pick. I was considering that for my sperm bank too. But uh, like, okay, so my sperm bank, Brady picked one of my games. I picked one of his games too. I was going to pick the Seahawks, but I like this game a little bit better. I like the Titans minus two and a half over the Colts. I don't like the Colts at all. I like the Titans. I think Derrick Henry's going to jam it down their fucking throats. Their defense is good enough to stop fucking – was his boy Philip Rivers? <laughs> I like the Titans. Lock it, lock that in. Uh, yep, that's my sperm back lock of the week. I want to get, I want to get to you guys. Uh, Ravens, you got you and you and Brady. Drew and Brady likes the Ravens a lot. But man, if you look at a lot of the Patriots games, they lose, but they they're like right in a lot of those fucking games. Am I wrong? Yeah, Not but Kansas City. Like, huh? Not Kansas City. <laughs> well. Kansas City beats up everybody a lot. So well, they fucking hung in there for a good long while against Kansas City, though. Yeah, they I, did pull away, dude. Yeah, I don't like that. Thing. Remember, I, I, Brady, you had to go fucking watch it in a different fucking room. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I do remember. I don't want to argue with you. I I just see the Ravens. I don't know. I, I see the Ravens winning the game, obviously, but six and a half. I don't, I don't know, man. Patriots just seem – to me, it seems like they play everyone. They lose, but they play everyone tight. I'm pulling up their schedule right now. There are five losses. Let's see. Uh, Seattle, they lost by five. Kansas City, they lost by 16. Denver, they lost by six. San Francisco, they lost by 27. Buffalo, they lost by three. Who did they play last week? Uh, the Jets. They barely beat the Jets. They had to kick a game winner on the Jets. So they're in most of them. It's up in it's up in New England. Oh, Belichick will dial something up to keep that game close. I don't like that one, but whatever. Hope you win. I like the fucking. Wrong game. 
I like to keep them sperm banks coming in. So anyone else got anything? Yes. Um, I would just like to say that uh, just like Brady introduced Drew to Deshante Clears, I introduced you to how dog shit the fucking Colts are and how easy money it is betting against those fucking idiots. <laughs> so you're welcome. <laughs> Well, thank you. I've I watched them. I've seen. I've seen. Them. <laughs> uh, Brady, how strongly do you feel about Toledo? I might put some action on that. I don't got nothing else to do. As you can see, I'm stuck in my fucking room. Uh, COVID boy. Toledo. I, I, them and Buffalo are going to be the two best teams in the MAC. Um, I'm not too sure. Western Michigan had a pretty good season last year, and it's in West. Western Michigan, good. Yeah. That's going to be a close game. Yeah. Let me ask a question there, Brady. Though Western Michigan, I know they were good last year. Did they? Did their quarterback graduate? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I think he's still there. Because uh, that's usually a key. A team that was good and their quarterback graduates, unless it's one of the big schools. Bet against those fuckers. Yeah, like, they, uh, like Minnesota they, last year. You, you see them teams that are good. It's because they're usually senior dominated, junior and senior dominated. Then they lose a lot of guys, and they got to turn to some freshman or sophomore quarterback, and they usually ain't that good. Yeah, Toledo brought a lot of their team back from last year. Yeah, they look really good week one. All right, so you feel strong about that? Not yeah. Bad. Yeah. Yeah, put I'm, money on the shots this week, baby. I think I might go with Brady there. Brady's pretty strong, strongly convinced me there a little bit. Time, mm-hmm. coast, I'm down to earth here, so. I was – honestly, Steve, I was thinking about making that one of my picks as well. My upset special, I was thinking about making that my fucking upset special. Troy, we're going to do it for Achilles, baby. Mm-hmm. Although Achilles, I mean, Achilles wasn't keep, true. Keep sleeping on them fucking shots, baby. Keep sleeping on them shots. Next week when I come back in the show and I tell you I fucking told her so, I fucking told her so. I don't, I don't, know, a, shit about the, I don't know shit about the shots. But Brady, Grayson McCall is a stud. He's good. He plays in the Sun Belt. He's not a stud. No one in the Grayson, Sun Belt stud. Grayson McCall is a stud. Nobody Have you guys in the ever Sun seen that video stud, of that yeah. fucking uh, – it's like third grader fucking football, and there's this one kid that's about the size of Derrick Henry. He's just pushing everybody out of the way. <laughs> that's what it's like to be good in the Sun Belt. You just walk through people to the fucking end zone. <laughs> Keep yeah. guessing on the show, but – I don't. I don't approve of any bashing of this football team right there. The shots. Hey, what does anyone think about my bold prediction of the the fins up? Maybe can come back and win that division. I think it's possible. It's yeah, possible. I don't. I don't. I don't like the fins this week, but I mean, two I know. I'll root together for you guys. They're but two I yeah. know. You think one of my picks is the Cardinals? Fun. I just I, – I can't see fucking Tua coming in and going fucking 3-0 and off the bat, honestly. I think – That's because you don't want to admit that you were wrong bag. about Tua. Yeah, but you don't what admit you were wrong. What, like, what, what has he done so far that's been that great? The first week Not, they had – That's what The I'm first week say. they had a defensive touchdown and a fucking special teams touchdown. Right, Two he defensive hasn't done nothing. Touchdowns. That's my point. Like, he hasn't been that good. He just hasn't really turned the ball over. And I think their defense and their team's a little bit better than what I think people give them credit for. Yeah, and I love it. he was he I was 20 to 28 for 248 and two touchdowns. That's a fucking solid game. That's okay. He had a better second game for sure. The second exactly. game, what you're saying he, is he, fell, he, he fell threw an average group. of fucking 12 yards per pass and he had a couple of touchdowns. He did better than your, well, don't he, forget. He, that, he, don't forget that that buddy broke like a like a fifty five yard fucking screen pass. So that he, counts. That accounts for. He didn't. Uh, he did better than your boy, the goat. There, uh, Wazzy boy. Uh, you know, Drew just. I should have never introduced him to Coastal Carolina. He probably wouldn't even be above five hundred right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That'd be big man. Don't be big man because you guys are five games back from me. Hey, we can't talk shit on 26 and 19, dude. That's pretty fucking good. When you're betting with spreads, that's that's good. Anytime you're over 500, that shit's good. But he doesn't, he but he doesn't, he only does good here. He doesn't do good outside the parameters of his picks on this show. Well, I don't, all I care is if he does good on this show. Well, sure. it makes it better. Because I'm going to be winning this money from this show, and I'm going to be winning the fantasy money after my big-time trade, baby. Yeah, what a fucking wow. 
Yeah. What a what a fucking True. hose job at first. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, there's a magical fucking trade that Drew makes with a guy who hasn't been setting his fucking lineups all year. So Buddy doesn't. He, Buddy played six guys last week, and all of a sudden Drew gets to his best player. He didn't even start a fucking tight end, and Drew's like, "Hey, thanks for the trade, Bud. Uh, it was a real fair trade. It was literally Dalvin Cook for four of the shittiest fucking people on Drew's roster that didn't even start." He tried. He tried. He tried to sell it too by saying Antonio Brown's a stud. Yeah, <laughs> he's sleeping on AB. He's he had fucking AB. what zero points last week. Yeah, big he had, stud. He had, he had he had six points on. He had five targets in his first game back in Tampa Bay. One wow. catch. I mean, I mean, it, I mean, it's hard when fucking Tom Brady turns the ball over three times in the, in the first game Antonio back. Antonio Brown even it's, it's is hard starting to, it's hard to get on his fucking team. It's and hard to get to fucking it, say he's a stud. It's hard to get points for AB whenever you're fucking you're barely on the field because Tommy fucking Tommy turnover is out there turning the ball over. Okay, all so how was that a good trade? Then? You three. tried to explain that to us like it was a great fucking trade. You just said Tom Brady fucking sucks. So that means because, Antonio Brown is getting fantasy points. Because he had six points and a fucking shitty game. That's gonna go up. Fulgrim's a beast. Okay, Fulgrim's well, a- Hey, Fulgrim's tell one of your boys that I need a running back. So just fucking slide one of them hose jobs my fucking way. I can offer, buddy. Me and me and Jake were in. We were in talks all day. I long, tried so. to send him fucking Aaron Rodgers for Dalvin Cook. That was a much fairer fucking trade than that fucking hose job. He, doesn't need a, he, he didn't need a QB. Well, he doesn't need a tight end either. Apparently, he didn't start one last. Week. <laughs> the fucking shit was empty. Mm, fucking sorry. asshole. Hey, and he still beat Tubby. So <laughs> yeah, he still beat. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, boys, gonna wrap this up. All right, make sure you guys tune in live, 11 a.m. Sunday, pregame show. You gonna be able to do that there? Are you gonna be able to do that there, Dad? I'll, have to, I'll probably have to do it from up here, I guess, because my get get tested today, and my test ain't gonna be back for three to five days. But Mom says she can get access to it earlier, so <laughs> she's gonna I'm, be I'm in the hacking the system. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna test positive though. So I'll have to yeah. do it from. It's going to be lame. I ain't going to be pounding fucking beers. I can run you some beers up. Beers. I suppose. I don't think it's good if you got coronavirus to pound the beers. <laughs> Maybe the alcohol kills it. Alcohol kills the virus. <laughs> Not after all the beers I drank this weekend. It doesn't. That's true. That's, you did fucking. You were pounding. <laughs> That's why yesterday, on Monday morning, I thought I was just hung over. Cause I was feeling off, and then I started shivering and fucking. Then I started getting hot. I was like, "That ain't a hangover." <laughs> oh shit! All right, yeah. Make sure you guys tune in uh, for the podcast. Are we doing podcast live again this week? Make sure you guys tune into that Saturday. Uh, yeah. Big skirt game day show live Sunday. We're out. Peace out, fellas. Later. <laughs>